Might be. Nope. There it is. <laughs> Hi. Welcome to Comfort Havoc number two. This is another recast Black Panther video. So apparently, I'm not making myself clear. So I spoke to a guy here on TikTok. Of course, I'm not going to be able to pull his ass up. And a young lady chimed in. Why can't I get this thing to work? I can never get this thing to work. I mean, technology. Do you ever open instant caramel with that? No, we don't need that. Okay, get to my thing here. So I'm not going to tell you his name because I can't scroll the damn phone up. And something just fell on my left. I also can't see. But anyway, uh, some people responded to what I said. So that's why I'm making this video. In fact, I'm also, after I'm making this video, I'm going to make a smaller video for the TikTok thing about recasting T'Challa. If I, there we go. I set that up over here. Okay. <sighs> Let me make something abundantly clear. I am an actor. I am not fishing for a job at Disney as the Black Panther. I am fishing for a job at Disney as any Marvel superhero, especially the Native American kind, because it's probably the only people that I can actually pass as. Just the fact that I'm a little bit shorter than the average Native American superhero, with the exception of the female Hawaiian Danielle Moonstar. No, not playing her. Even if you make me look like a girl and put me in a bra, it's not going to happen. I also am not Cheyenne. Now, let me break this down for y'all. The best source of information that you can go to is a young man named Theo Butler. Him and his whole squad of merry men and some women are trying to get the role of T'Challa, a.k.a. the Black Panther, recast. Now, I am in complete agreement. They are a thousand percent correct. The only thing that we differ is that I don't think anyone has thought about getting his brother to play it, which is why I'm making this video. I think that T'Challa's brother, excuse me, Chadwick Boseman's brother, should play the Black Panther. He's 48 years old. I'm almost 48 years old. If you watch my videos, you see how well I move. You watch his dancing video on Entertainment Tonight, you see how well he moves. The only thing that he's going to need is an acting coach. Like, the only thing I'm going to need is an acting job and a coach and a good contract. But anyway, this isn't about me. Mr. Butler has a Wakanda for Life thing on Facebook. Go find it. I haven't been able to find it because I haven't been on Facebook. I follow him on YouTube. Theo Butler is all I've got. Shout out to Theo Butler. Good job, brother. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I am legitimately not a Black Panther fan. But I like the character. I like the concept of a superhero that is black. There's just one little itty bitty hiccup in that. Technically, he's African. Technically. What I consider black would be Falcon. But this isn't about Falcon. Shout out to Falcon. The one with the Winter Soldier, not Falcon from G.I. Joe, who is also one of my favorite superheroes. But anyway, moving away from that. Mr. Butler pointed out a whole bunch of things that make sense. However, the people in charge are suffering from head and ass syndrome and don't want to hear us out. My video is to push forward to make sure that Chadwick Boseman's brother does the same thing that Paul Walker's brother did. Put his ass in the suit, y'all. It's not that difficult. You can build him a suit. Build him a suit. Teach him how to act. And give him the damn movie. Not just one, but give him two. You want to honor Chadwick Boseman? Let his brother play him. That would be a great honor. It would not only just be an honor for Chadwick Boseman's brother to play him, but it would appease the family. It would appease the fans. Because he doesn't look that much different from his brother. Just a little older. And you can always use regenerative uh, filming to make him look younger. Set him in that suit and have at it, man. I don't understand why you guys haven't thought this through. They did it for Paul Walker in the Fast Furious movies. And I don't know if the brother made a cameo in the last one that I just saw last week. Where um, John Cena was in it. But if they can do it for Paul Walker... In the Fast Furious franchise, 
You can do it for Black Panther. You guys really can. It's not that difficult. I mean, come on. The guy's a dancer, so it's not going to be that hard to teach him martial arts for the most part. I have to say that because I've worked with the dancer in one of my films that got stolen. And um, <laughs> it was hard to train a dancer to do martial arts because she just was too stiff. But he seems to move a lot better than her. So here's the thing. He can be taught martial arts. He can be taught how to act. Put his ass in the suit and have at it. Instead of sitting here and going against the flow. Go with the flow to make the movie work out better. It would work better for us in the long run if Chadwick Boseman's brother plays Black Panther. Now, I don't know their skin tones because I wasn't really paying attention to that. I was just paying attention to the fact that this man was dancing his heart out to honor his brother. So why in the hell can't y'all let him honor his brother by picking up the mantle and being the Black Panther instead of killing him off the screen? Now, if you follow Mr. Butler, he thinks that you guys are killing him just to get rid of the black guy as the character. And he's probably right. I don't think you guys are getting rid of him because you're just being stupid. Instead of weighing the pros and cons, Pearl, his brother playing him in two more movies, can solidify the character. And then, if you want to pull somebody from the multiverse or whatever as a Black Panther, you can work that out. But that's too much like right. It's also something that Stan Lee would have done versus what you guys are doing. Now think it over. Putting his brother in the mantle of the Black Panther, getting him to work with Shiri, getting him to do all the other stuff, teaching him how to talk with the accent, Wakanda forever, you know, y'all can do that. It's not going to be that difficult. Acting isn't hard. Being discovered is hard. Getting work after being discovered is also hard, so you want a good contract. The guy has the moves. You've seen him dance. Give the man the job as his brother's replacement. Let him do this. Let him do this for his brother. And for you, Mr. Baldwin, Mr. Bozeman's brother, because I don't remember your name. You should push for this too. You should get off your rear, get in gear, and I come out. You should be going in. It's not that difficult. That's your brother. Get off your ass and fight. Get up and fight for your brother's role. Get up. Suit up. Become the new Black Panther. There's no reason why you can't. We're both up there in age. Neither one of us is 50 yet. But I still move like a cat. And so do you. Now get off your rear. Get in gear. And go get that role. Stop production if you have to. Lots of actors have done this. Um, what was her name? Sean Young did this when she didn't get the role as Catwoman with the Michael Keaton movie. Go and fight. Do it for your brother. Tell them what you want. Tell them what the family want. We've all seen the video clip. You need to do this. And you need to do it now. This is Kung Fu Havoc number two. BC and you.